Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was in the process of taking out my hair, taking it out and um, was about to reinstall my hair. But as you can see by the title, I am going to show you guys how I removed my, um, my lace, my lace frontals without like damaging your hair or whatever. So I just decided to come on camera and just show you guys like what I do, like the simple step that I do to, um, take off my, um, lace safely. And before anybody asks, um, this hair is from Badula Hair Company. They sent this to me about a few weeks ago and I've been wearing this hair for about, for about, I think two weeks going on to three weeks. Yeah. Going on to three weeks now. Um, I did receive, um, when I ordered it, cause I guess I have to order or whatever. When I ordered it, I ordered a 10 inch frontal, a 10 inch frontal. And I'm pretty sure two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 222 inches. I ordered either 222 inches or 222 inches. And when I received the um, order, like in two days or whatever, when I received it, I only, I got the 10 inch frontal, a 22. And I thought I got the 222. But then when I was like looking through the hair in the package or whatever, I was comparing the lengths. And then it looked like one was shorter than the other. And and not like I even like pulled them like apart to see like to see if I was crazy or whatever so I did contact them and tell them that they sent me like two separate lengths and not 222 to be honest with you the one it looked like the one that was shorter it looked like an 18 to me but he was saying oh it looked like a 20 inch or whatever so I let him know I thought he was gonna send me another bundle because I did pay like the diff anyways my camera just shut off but I did think that he was going to send me another bundle, but then when I contacted them and they replied, they were like, oh, they weren't able to, they're not going to be able to send me another one, that they're sorry for the inconvenience. And they, I guess they just sent me the difference. They sent me the difference or whatever. But I mean, at the same time, I kind of just wanted my 22 inch because I didn't want the, the only reason why I ordered the two 22 inches was because I didn't want the, um, the end of my hair looking strangly or whatever because I hate that look but let me show you guys how it looks like you see it and then it looked like it's not the same length like I didn't want the end of the bundle so it basically stops like underneath my boobs but I didn't like that strangly look that's why I personally wanted that um the 222 inches so they could have been like almost the, I meant the same and like the end wouldn't be strangly or whatever but but whatever Ugh. like the lighting is like fucking horrible but anyways but yeah um but that happened but whatever um but after that ugh, sorry yeah my head itch but yeah um and i made this into uh i made this into a wig i make all my hairs into a wig because it's more convenient so i made i made the wig and i've been wearing it for like two weeks yes the hair has been shedding like a lot i don't know what it is about this company i don't know if it's just their curly hair i haven't tried their straight hair yet and this hair is from badula hair company no i'm sorry badula I'm, I, why do i keep saying that buladu it's buladu hair company and I don't know like the hairs are always shedding I'm not sure if it's because it's like curly hair or whatever that it sheds so much but the hair sheds a lot so um I mean it doesn't like really bother me but like it does and it does get like dryish a little bit but then I prefer it to be dry because when it's when it's dry and it's like big I don't know I like my curly hair to look more fuller and bigger or whatever but it does get really dry and it sheds a lot or whatever but I mean besides that like the curls are really pretty or whatever the curls are pretty when you wet them I did recently wet them like a few a few um I don't know if you guys could see it but I did um I wet it like a few minutes ago and it already dried so it dries pretty quickly or whatever but overall like the hair is is fine if you don't mind the shedding if you don't mind it shedding or being dry or whatever it doesn't like it doesn't get caught in the back of your neck or whatever it doesn't do all that extra shit so like it is decent hair it's decent hair or whatever but whatever 
well um i'm about to take it out to like reinstall the hair to reinstall it because like some of it's like coming out some is coming out so i just decided to like take it out and i was like why not do it on camera um i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to take out your lace frontal without it like taking out your hair for me it's already too late because i already cut my hair and i really don't give a fuck about my hair so and like i kind of already pulled out most of my edges yeah i kind of pulled up most of my edges like right here from i don't even think it's from yeah it's from frontal to be honest because i don't really apply them the correct way that you're supposed to put it on but I don't give a fuck. Hair is hair. Like, it'll grow back if it wants to. And if it don't, I'll just cut it off and just put on a wig. So, it's not that serious. So, um, but, hold on. Why is it so dark looking? I think that's better. Okay, but the, what I'm going to use is, I've seen that a lot of people use, um, I used to use the 99, I think I used 99.1% or the 97% alcohol to take out my hair but I what I did realize is when you're like taking it out it really like it takes a lot of scrubbing you got to continue like scrubbing your hair and I think that that's a big reason why um your hair comes out from the sides like your edges and stuff is because you rub your hair so much you rub it so much with the alcohol and it also it makes your head so sensitive like on the side so i personally don't like using the alcohol and then so lately i've been using the c22 c22 um solvent i think it's by walker tape i don't know if you guys could see it because of all the light this is how it looks like um i'll put it down below and I put it I'll put it down um, in the description box if you guys want to um, purchase it or whatever I have seen like a few people um, use this for once for instance I think her name is Danielle Naomi I, I had her on snapchat and I seen her like use this to remove her lace and all I seen she did was like spray it with a little bit she rubbed it and then next thing you know the lace came off and I'm like oh shit let me try it so I tried it whatever and and this is the only thing that i've been using lately and i think it's a hundred times better than the rubbing alcohol or whatever and also like it's less mess but i did purchase this for i think it was six six or five dollars at my um local at my local um it wasn't Sal sally but mine's what i have around here is the elegance so i don't really go to um sally's but i'm pretty sure you would be able to find this on on sally beauty too or online or amazon but it was really cheap and it was a big amount and you don't need that much to take it out so this is gonna last you for a while and i had this for a while but let me show you guys how to do it okay so like make sure that all your hair is basically out your face and then what i do is just you literally all you have to do is spray okay Ooh. And then it smells like oranges. I don't know if it's oranges or... Yeah, it smells like oranges or like... Just know it smells like a fruit. So it doesn't give any type of like bad smell. Like to me, the only thing is... It's like... I don't know if it's an oil residue it has on it. I think it's like an oil that they have in this. Because it is pretty oily so when you're done you have to wash your lace well you don't have to because i don't wash it all the time i just make sure i rub all the oil off the lace and also my head but i would recommend you wash it to take out all the oils because you know if you have oil in your hair and you're trying to um apply apply um apply the the glue or whatever to put back on your lace it is going to make it not last longer or stick down because obviously it's oil and oil doesn't stick to glue like that so i would recommend you wash it or whatever but besides that there's no really downside to this like right now i already feel it feel my lace moving you see that's like it's freaking insane you see how easy that was okay okay you guys don't have to spray as much as i did I just like being extra and like you just rub make sure you rub everything on it to like make sure it distributes all around your hair like it works that fast like if I really wanted to I could have already start lifting it up but oh my god I think I got in my contacts oh shit oh shit 
yeah, I don't spray as much as I do because that's just getting in my contacts and making my fucking eye water. But anyways, but yeah, like I don't even think you don't even have to use any type of like blow dryer or whatever blow dryer to um take it out oh my god i think it got in my eye whatever um let me hurry up and finish this so i can take this shit out my eye so yeah don't laugh at my freaking head it's like a peanut head you see literally all i'm doing is like pulling it off yeah i'm gonna be looking bummy as fuck look oh my god yeah i look bald i promise i don't look that bald on my head i just y'all see my patches anyways that's how y'all girl look underneath her lace but literally it took like five seconds me you don't have to wait that long like i did to like take out the um i'm not removing this just know that it's off everything is off and mind you i did apply like three layers of three layers of glue around this and literally all it took is for me to like all it took for me to just like spray a few and it just came off so this shit is like pretty strong and look it basically what it does let me fix my shit but i feel like what it does is it takes off the the glue from your head so it doesn't leave the residue on your head it just uh, stays on your lace but like don't worry about that because literally all you have to do is peel off the peel off the glue from the lace and it'll be easy as hell to to take off the lace not take off the lace but clean off your lace or whatever so it's literally that easy like though that's why i would rather use the c22 instead of the alcohol because like literally you probably would still be sitting down and trying to rub the shit off and your head would get tender and then you're gonna be losing hair and shit like that i don't know all i know is this is the easiest way if you're trying to save your edges it's too late for me but i hope that i could help someone to save their edges or whatever but that was all for this video and i'll leave the i'll leave the details of on this hair down below like the inches and stuff like that and where i got it and hopefully i can put down some links on like to how you can get it directly if you would want it or whatever and also i'll put down the this thing the c22 or whatever in the description also if you guys want to purchase it i don't know exactly what links i could look on amazon for you guys to see if it's on amazon it probably would be cheaper on amazon but then again it's only six dollars so it's really inexpensive but yeah that's all for this video i hope that um this video was helpful um please make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you subscribe to this channel and please make sure you guys um just share this video if to help out a friend if y'all know that y'all y'all friend using alcohol to take out her lace knowing damn well her little baby edges is gonna start coming off tell her to use the freaking c22 okay use the freaking c22 and save your edges okay and not walk around like me with freaking bald spot on my shit but then again i don't give a fuck but anyways i hope this video was helpful and i hope to see you guys next time bye